Good morning guys. Um, waking up Monday morning feeling quite nice and fresh after a lovely day yesterday. I realised that I spent the entire day cleaning and doing the new lounge so I didn't really spend much time chilling out whatsoever but I enjoyed it and it was just nice to spend a bit of time actually in the house. So I am feeling, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling really, really nice and fresh. I'm on my way into London. I've got a couple of meetings. They're staying over in London tonight before the Eurostar tomorrow for Paris, Paris Fashion Week. Probably one of my favorite fashion weeks. I've got some really lovely shows to go to this season. Um, I'm with Dior and I'm also with L'Oreal towards the end of the week. I wanna kind of keep this as concise as possible because Paris Fashion Week is about a week long. So this may, this may be split into two videos like the start and the end. I'm not too sure, but we will we will see as we get going, won't we? So yesterday, yeah, I filmed decorating my lounge video. So if you've not seen that already, I literally decorated my lounge from start to finish. Apart from the electrics, I, I didn't have the TV or the lights sorted, granted, but I finished my lounge from start to finish and I vlogged the whole thing. So I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't seen it, I will leave it linked on the screen for you. But that was really, really good fun actually and now we have a lounge, we have a lounge and I'm so happy about it. It feels weird though that I no longer have my, my chair in this corner, this feels very, it just feels very light and bright in here again because it's kind of all back to the way it first was, which I kind of like but I do have another chair on the way for that corner, it's beautiful. Um, so as soon as that comes I'll be able to show you. Also, I always like to show you jeans. <laughs> Whenever I get new jeans, I, I find that I always like to show you them just because I know how difficult it is to find perfect jeans. Um, and these ones I am honestly just loving. First of all, the colour is such a fantastic blue. It's that very like off-duty, off-duty blue. Um, and it's just got a cool little rip in one of the in one of the knees. I've actually made this a lot bigger because I've been kind of sitting down and doing my makeup and you know bending my knees. So that always kind of accentuates the whole <laughs> but um yeah they just fit really really nice they're quite nice and fitted without being too overly tight i think i went for the 24 waist in these um and i really like the fact they're kind of cropped so i'm going to put them on with my with my boots and i've pulled out my balenciaga jumper from from last season just to be a little bit warmer and also because it's a french brand i often i often like to pack my french brands for paris <laughs> Anyway, let's get on. We're in Paris and we have to go now. I've just done a full face of Dior, the brand new Ultra Care liquid lipstick. I've just finished getting ready and I've got the new eye palette on and forever foundation. But I'll tell you all about that later anyway. I'm on my way now. We're late, we're really, really late. We better go. Just arrived at the Dior show and this is the center. It's stunning. So it's got a really sustainable element to this collection. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's all about. Well, this is amazing. Everyone is just walking around the set. I feel like I've barely seen you guys yet, but I, I'm gonna be sure to update you on everything as soon as possible. But I need to go find my seat. Let me properly introduce this vlog, shall I? I didn't get to speak to you properly before. <laughs> it was all a bit of a, a mad dash. We've made it to the Royal Monster again, one of my fave hotels. It's just beautiful here. We're staying this time with Dior for the Dior show. So we're here with Dior makeup. Like I said, I just did this full Dior makeup look and I'm wearing a full Dior outfit, which you'll have hopefully have seen already in a little Instagram video that we put together kind of showing the whole vibe of the show. So I'll insert that now.
yeah, but pretty much I created this look, one of the new Ultra Care Dior uh, liquid lipsticks. Um, and I've been wearing 639, I believe. Just really, really comfortable, somewhat matte, but with a bit of a, a little bit of a shine to it, somewhere in between the two. It's kind of like matte dewy, that's what Dior are labeling it as. Um, I had my hair done, it's all kind of falling out now because of the rain. So um, yeah, so Cyril's coming back in a minute to do my hair again, because tonight we're going for a meal, a super special Dior dinner with Georgia Smith, who is the new sort of face and ambassador for Dior. And we're having a really gorgeous meal at um, Cas Caspia, something Caspia? It's a really beautiful like caviar fish restaurant. So I have another outfit for that, another Dior outfit. So this is the first one. And um, this is just sort of tied in a pussy bow. A beautiful black um, semi-sheer blouse t and then tucked into this red skirt with a slit in it. Very kind of Spanish vibes, but this print on it with this tropical scene. There's just so much in the store right now with this sort of vibe. So I was really excited to wear this and it's just a bit different. I didn't see anyone else wearing anything like it, which I always quite like to stand out a little bit. And I had a really cool red coat on like you've seen in the video. So it's Paris Fashion Week. I'm gonna bring you along to a few of the shows that I go to and the events and whatnot. So yeah, I need to get ready for tonight. Okay, into my second Dior outfit and definitely my favorite. This is so, so Dior, the beautiful sheer tool and embellishment. It's so pretty. <laughs> It's beautiful. Um, I've just topped up my makeup. I've kind of gone over the top of all my, my um, eyeshadow again, made it a bit more smoky and a bit deeper. It's gone for a nude lip, lots of contour. I've had my hair kind of very messily grungy toozled because I think it works well with Dior looks because they're so feminine. So it's a nice, nice kind of contrast to feel. What else? Uh, taking my little, my little bag. <laughs> I've got my favourite heels on as always. How much do I wear these? So I'm all ready to go. I think we've actually got a little bit of time, which is very unlike us. So we might actually go outside and just take a few more pictures actually. But um, really excited for tonight to meet Georgia Smith and all of your team and just to kind of celebrate an amazing day. I managed to check in even once. We're having a beautiful dinner. It's just such a lovely like, private dinner with you all. And all of their ambassadors. And it's just a really cool evening. So I just got a Bellini delivered to me. Um, and everyone's here. Yeah, but it's all beautiful show it was completely outside and it was kind of cool I didn't tell you this we had um we had ear um I oh, saw that headphones. headphones on yeah I saw it. so all the sound was coming through the headphones which is kind of cool but it was raining so much and everyone sat so close to each other that I didn't use an umbrella so I thought oh maybe the guy next to me will hold his umbrella over me and it'll be fine and actually he just kept it to himself and then just left, left like all the drips just to drip on my head and down Chivalry my back. Chivalry is not dead, is it? I was just thinking, like, if you sat next to someone, it should be like pe two people each each time share an umbrella. Yeah. And I thought, oh, you know, I'll just snuggle in here. But no. Anyway, so I'm wet through, hence why my head's a little bit frizzé now. But I just really fancy a little, a little coffee. So we're just gonna go get a coffee before I get back and get ready for the next show. Siriano show back to the room and now we've got a couple of hours before we have an event so I'm going to take off all my all my stuff I'm going to get into this extra comfortable bed and just do some edits I think we just need to edit loads of stuff we've got a Dior video that we want to edit for Instagram I've got my next vlog for tomorrow night it's always go 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 so then we're going to go on to that I've just had a little parcel turn up though for tonight from Atelier Cologne and 
da, 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 da. I'm hoping this is my favorite. It is! Oh, yay. My absolute favorite from Atelier Cologne is this Pacific Lime. It smells absolutely divine, honestly. It's just beaut. Um, obviously, it's got that like limey, citrusy notes, but pretty sure it's like grapefruit. I just sprayed it on my face. <laughs> yeah, it's like grapefruit and lime, and it oh, I just it's just one of my absolute favourite scents now. And they do these thirty ml travel size ones, and they're amazing for keeping in your uh, purse. They very kindly sent me one for tonight, before the party. So it's a lovely party tonight, and I'm also going for dinner with the team. Get some lunch to the room, just chill for a bit, and then, yeah, next outfit. And on to the evening. We're heading out now for the Atelier Cologne party. I am wearing my absolute favorite, favorite play suit. So many of you guys have bought this since, since I was like, swooning over it so i hope you're all loving yours as much as i love mine i love it so beautiful so i've just paired it with my bulgari bag i don't know if this one's still available but i'll link the collection in case you do want to get one and i am wearing the ultra care the ruscio ultra care 999 which is like their signature red shade in the liquid lip so it's, it's just really really comfortable but if you don't really like liquid lips it does also come in a kind of bullet form as well anyway off we go we're just at the Atelier Cologne party, having a few drinks. It's really cool, it's like different rooms associated with the different perfumes. It's like a pink room, Pacific Lime. Anyway, so we're now going to go for some dinner, I think, with everybody else. We're on our way to the Strathbury presentation this morning, aren't we? We are. We just made it to Strathbury and there's so much newness that it's just so beautiful. I am obsessed, obsessed with this little tiny bag and the colourways and these beautiful patterns. This strap is just so dreamy. The few straps actually. So great. Here's Alex. <laughs> right, today is very like stop start. We've been doing lots of work in between. And now we are on our way to the Victoria Beckham eyewear collection. Okay, just a minute to the Victoria Beckham eyewear. It's all brand new. I am just in love with this style. It's so unique. It's really unusual and it looks beautiful on. So these are my favourites. But they've got some really chic, very VB styles, like really oversized, super oversized aviators. And these are so cool. Thinking I may need these ones because these are fantastic. But I think overall these are just amazing. And after today, we're having date night. The girls at um, Ladies at Victoria Beckham said we should come here. So we've literally walked around the corner for a little date night, a glass of wine and some pasta. And my new Victoria Beckham sunnies. Hi guys. I thought I'd quickly check in because I haven't in a little while. So I'm now with L'Oreal Paris, L'Oreal Makeup, because every single season, well, in fact, every September season they do their big show. This year it's Karl Lagerfeld times L'Oreal Makeup. You might remember the Balmain collab they did and also Isabel Morant collab that they did like the year before that. This year it's all about Karl Lagerfeld. It was a collaboration that was organised a little bit before Karl sadly passed away. And apparently he was super excited about the whole collaboration and the team decided to continue with it even after he had passed because um, he knew how much he would probably absolutely love this collaboration. So today we went to the Atelier. I've um, recorded a few clips that I'll insert at Karl's Atelier to talk to some of his team to see the new makeup and we also got to play around with some of the makeup. Before Carl asked her to come and work at Chanel in the press team. So she did that for a few years and then when he started his own brand, she jumped ship and joined him uh, with his namesake brand and worked in the press team for more than 20 years. Then also became the CEO and then the director of the studio, um, which she did until she retired earlier this year. There is no sort of restriction. It's not like this is just a Parisian woman. Not at all. This is everyone. You know, yes. these so Parisian women are in New York. They're in Japan. You know, you're in Paris. 
Paris. So it's, you know, it, his, his vision is to embrace everybody. But it looks so I'm making my own lipstick colour right now. Everyone is just painting away. Liz has already found her favourite colour. She's going for it. <laughs> Corally. I of course have gone like lavender nude. Very, very pink. Tonight we're back at we're back at the W Opera Hotel. It's such a great location because it's literally right next to the gallery of Lafayette. So me and Alex have just been out doing some shopping. But I'm just getting ready for the night. We're literally going out in five minutes. Five minutes. Um, but I thought I'd put on this lipstick with you because I'm quite excited. It's this new Colorish Ultra Matte from L'Oreal and it's a new nudes collection and this one's called No Obstacles and it looks amazing so I thought we could try it on together. Oh, it's really, really nice. Like, really nice. Trying to use you guys is my mirror. Oh, I love that. Peachy nude. Oh, and it's perfect for my outfit. Perfecto, right? Well, let's let me, um, do this in the mirror and I'll come back. Right, that's better. I just lined my lips. That would have helped. And um, love the shade. This is beautiful. No obstacles, it's called. A little light switch. A little bit peachy, a little bit pink. And a really great nude. So this might be my new favourite nude, I'll be honest. Nice, easy nude. Um, I am wearing a brand new bag. This was such a kind gift. It's a gorgeous, sustainable brand. This is made of pineapple leather. Pineapple leather gorgeous it has these little handle this beautiful handle and a crossbody strap and i'm really taken with it i think it's gorgeous and i love the fact it's obviously what's wrong with this oh. yeah the fact it's from yeah pineapple leather instead you would have no, honestly you'd have no idea it looks just like real leather beautiful um and then this dress it's actually this is actually a couple of sizes too big this dress but i really love the style it's feeling a little bit oversized and a bit almost a bit blazer-esque in its structure and it goes down into a bit of a mini a bit of an asymmetric feel mini and it has these little ta this tassel of silver diamantes hanging off it i thought that's rather pretty so of course i've gone with my silver aquazora shoes as well so i've got a you know a white and silver vibe going on here i very quickly topped up my makeup just with what I had on earlier. A little bit more highlight. Mm, that Charlotte Tilbury glow. Beauty light wand. But yeah, this lipstick colour. Oh, I love it. I bet you anything when I go out there, Lydia will be wearing the exact same one. We both love the same colour of nude. Right, off to Lavenue for We went to Lavenue the day with, um, with Atelier Cologne. It is just that place to go for a good dinner. So we're off there again. Morning, guys. Welcome to our second to last day before the end of fashion month. We're very, 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 very excited about going back to Froho and having some time in our house, just me and Alex, and delicious coffees and our beautiful, our beautiful house. I can't wait, really can't wait. Like I don't mean to complain, I'm having, we're having a lovely time and it's very um, productive and I feel very lucky to be here, but I also, would just like to be at home because <laughs> obviously we had the wedding which melted straight into a trip another trip then another trip another trip another trip then it was london fashion week and then it was milan and then it was it's now paris so like i was saying to alex before i haven't since the wedding i haven't unpacked any of my makeup bags any of my beauty bags that I often have because I've not I haven't had any time just to put things in drawers because I would just have to repack them again. So whilst it's been a fantastic month and very productive, I am just desperate for some time. Just me and Alex yes, and the house. So I'm I'm desperate really to get home, I'll be honest. But we've got today and we have tomorrow um until we, we head home tomorrow night. Starting the day, I'm going to the Gerard um, Gerard Durrell store. Um, they've invited me in to look at the new collection. Um, and it's a beautiful brand that I've never really ever connected with before. So I thought it'd be really nice to go along and have a little look at their latest launches. Um, so I'm gonna head in there, do a little bit of shopping, have a little look around. And then it's all go from there. Hopefully we can stop and get a Pret. I've seen a Pret store along the way, which I don't see many of in Paris. So I'm gonna go get a Pret. Um, nice coffee, nice tasty coffee. What am I wearing today? I am wearing this same bag. Do you know, yeah, also sorry that I didn't get to, to vlog any of last night. Um, pretty much it was just me and Lydia having a chin wag for about three hours. So both of us at the end were like, we've not vlogged. It's like, well, just a sign of a good night, I suppose. I'm wearing pineapple 
pineapple leather bag with it's just a very easy cut up denim jacket but then underneath i've gone for this sleeveless bodysuit that i've recently bought with this long spotted dress over the top and i actually really love the layers let me see if i can show you a little better here but i'm just kind of worn it so it's a little bit lower over the bodysuit down into my cassidy boots um and i really quite like it it's quite a cool little that cool look how beautiful is that color <laughs> love it and i'm really after a teddy bear coat this season yes we're just in the gerard Durrell store in san germain like i said i've had another the new collections this is like their flagship gorgeous coats they're cool gorgeous color it's nice in the white Like a little polar bear. It is a little polar bear. Mm. But they do it in um, brown as well, and I love the brown. I like this hair. Uh... That's pretty, isn't I like it? The There's some beautiful things in here. Oh, they've got it in pink, see? So... They've got it in every colour, haven't they? Yeah. Very nice. Isn't that just gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Like a big teddy bear. It's one, of the, it's one of the best teddy bear coats I've seen. I love it. Totally wintered out. I love this outfit. It's really nice. It's lovely. Got a very soft knit. And then the feet. It's almost like a beige neutral. Well, 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 Mr. McGrath, who's got some treats? Oh, Maybe little treats. Little treats. <laughs> what have you got? It's a keyring. Liverton <laughs> <laughs> <Levitone> keyring. <laughs> and I have got some amazing, amazing gifts from Gerard Durrell. The most beautiful jacket and coats for winter so honestly i'm kitted out now for winter this is just amazing what a lovely day well, out, so now i'm gonna get some coffees at brett Whoop. we're back in the room we've just been to get a brett alex is gonna open up his new gift late wedding gift for alex mm -hmm. from me that i thought he would love for his work and his travels and everything else and it's just beautiful a lot of guys think you're gonna love this bag. Whoa. Look at it! Freaking awesome. Looks tiny on this camera. I know, it, look, it, it feels smaller when it's. When it's been compressed when in it's a been bit. been compressed in a little bit. I wanna get it from this direction so I can actually properly see the colours. There we go, that's better. You can probably see the colours now. Pop. Pop. So I think, I think this, this leather. I can't remember. Anyway, it's that very grainy leather. So pretty much for Alex, it's perfect because it's not going to scratch. Anything that goes on it, he can wipe clean. It's kind of a bit of an indestructible bag, so it's perfect. And you want it as like your camera bag and yeah. everything bag, don't you? Okay. Put things in it. Put things in it so I can see. Put this inside it. <laughs> You're getting more excited than me. I am. I'm just excited for you. Now it's perfect because I can put my uh, compartment, like my camera compartment thing inside of it as well for when we're traveling yeah we were looking at a smaller one weren't we but i just think this is going to be so much better when we're on the road yeah and this is the one you really really loved when you saw it yeah yeah it's really really nice it feels smaller than than it was in the store i like <laughs> it yeah <laughs> Feels smaller it's because you've got stuff in it no it's 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 a perfect size thank you yes yeah, so nice i love it it's so cool
with goat's cheese and spinach. Liz is having the vegan curry second night on the run. We're all creatures of habit here. <laughs> Good morning, it's our final, final day. We're going home. We're going home. Uh, we, obviously we've had the best time, but we are just so ecstatic that we are almost going home to our beautiful big bed. Can't wait. But today actually, it's actually a really fantastic day. I've got two, well I've got one presentation on for Malone Souliers, and I have um, a show with Ralph and Russo. So I just got myself ready. We're gonna nip out first of all, and go over to there, and then, so I got cut off then. Um, yeah, so this is my outfit for today and it's honestly probably one of my absolute favourites of my entire fashion month. And I feel it's very, very appropriate for the weather right now. So I'm wearing a pair of Malone Soulier boots. Malone Soulier has been one of my favourite shoe brands for a number of years. Um, and these are just unreal. The way they style them often is that they took this round so you can see the shearling underneath. So you took those over and they're so snug. It's just so, oh, it's just so cosy inside here. So that's what I'm wearing. Then this cute little skirt. This is H&M guys, H&M. It's got a little bit crease, but it's like a, a, a cord creamy skirt that I thought was super cute. Then I've got my Zimmerman top. Finally managed to wear this. I've been trying to wear this with a number of outfits and it's not quite worked, but with this, it just, yeah, it's perfect. And then over top is my favorite thing of the entire season right now. My new coat that I got yesterday from Gerard Durrell. This is just unbelievable and it's reversible. So it's two coats in one. So one side is like a beautiful suede with shearling finish. And this side is just pure shearling the entire entire finish so I am just in love with it I couldn't love this anymore this is coming to Chicago with me for my for my winter holiday for Thanksgiving that I do annually so we're just at the Malone Senior showroom um, and this season they've kind of done these stories of different kind of women not only just different types of women but the women during the day so in the morning you're probably a very different woman to the evening so you've got like the innovator and she's just very cool and you know likes all these different fabrics the comedian and maybe someone with a bit more personality who wants something sparkly and you've got these beautiful ribbons these mules of the mesh are beautiful and these little sandals oh, absolutely fantastic the shapes are just so classic for my own souliers but just with that slight update to them these are probably my favourite shoe this is mesh that's encapsulated within the PVC <laughs> and they come in yellow. Okay, I'm going to change now into my final outfit of Fashion Month. Guys! <laughs> Morning guys. I'm just taking Alex to the train station in the Bentley because we have no other car. So um, this is the bougie way that Alex arrives at the train station. Um, unfortunately I don't because Alex can't drive me and I have to get a cab but Alex gets the chauffeur service. Are you excited? Not really, no. I don't get excited about getting tattooed anymore. It's going to be nice and painful. I'm going to have to have lots of sympathy for you later, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> and a home-cooked meal when you get back. What time are you getting back? Um, I don't know. This is it now. It takes bloody ages to get there and ages to get home. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be late tonight. I I'm going to be absolutely flat when I get back. I think I'm doing four or five hours today. I have something text you ready for you, babe. Thanks, baby. Back at the house, making myself a little bit of brekkie. Now some Alpro soy yogurt. I'm gonna have some red brunch. That'll be nice. Final stuff yesterday, some crunchy granola with raisins, pennies and almonds. Try this. But it's so hard to buy. I know everyone's gonna be like, just make your own granola, and I will when I've got some time, I will. Because you just never know what they're putting in this stuff, and it's always full of sugar, like so much sugar. And this month, I am cutting back big time on sugar, like a lot. Like I don't wanna drink anything this month, and I'm just gonna lower my sugar intake because it's got a little bit out of hand, and oh, that's raspberry on my white jumper. 
yeah, it's got a little bit out of hand and um, it's since my hen do in July, I have been drinking most days. Not in like a binging way, but just having like a, a drink, um, which I don't usually ever do when I want to get back to the way I used to look after my body a bit better. I just want to feel healthy again. And then, you know, like I, I constantly am snacking on um, sweets and chocolate recently and it's just got a little bit silly, like really unhealthy um, routines. My God, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> the way I open things. Yeah, we'll have to put this granola in. And we've got a tasty breakfast. Right, now I've got this. I want to show you. I want to show you the lounge. I want to update you. I showed you guys the lounge in my recent decorating vlog. You guys really enjoy that, so I'm so glad. So I'll just show you the little bits of extras that we've done since. Because it's getting there now, guys. Okay, our electrician Rob came around yesterday and fitted our sconces. Let me show you them in a little bit more detail because they're actually super nice. Here we are. So it's got this back plate and then two, two glass funnels. I don't know. But yeah, beautiful sconces. They kind of match with the rest of the house, really. They're very similar to the ones I have in the kitchen. I got this lovely little gift. This was from the Galan team. They sent me this and a few other beautiful Galan products. This is a little wedding gift for me and Alex, just as a little congratulations, which is absolutely beautiful. I also got this wedding gift off Dior. Um, the Dior makeup team, Farah, beautiful Farah, and the Dior fashion team sent me this Junning Dior frame. You see the CD. So I'm gonna get a black and white picture of me and one of mine and Alex's favorite wedding pictures to go in here. We've got a little baby fin. This is our little movie fin. Gorgeous. Um, yes, we've had all like the light switches changed. This this needs filling, sanding, and then just painting up again, so it's perfect. But um, our electrician needed to go deeper in the wall to put in the dimmer switches, so that's why that's looking a little bit unfancy. But we have all of these changed to brass, so it's all looking really lovely now. I've ordered some more of these little guys, so that's a bit more full. This is literally from last night. <laughs> Me and Alex had a little movie night last night, so this all just needs some. Um, looking a bit better. Also, I filled this cushion with one more cushion uh, filling inside it and it looks so much better now. I've always heard people say, always double up your cushions inside because it just looks so much more filled. Whereas these ones here, I feel like I'm gonna do that to these because these just look a bit limp. Whereas that now looks like the mama cushion. So I'm gonna do that. We also moved this chair to here because it's just such a beautiful chair and we felt it was a little bit lost in that corner. I don't know, I'm still playing around with it. I love it here though. We're waiting on these going up still though. We've got someone coming around actually on Saturday. He's gonna fit all this for us right into the middle of the room. Apparently he can use some sort of like umbrella fastening. It kind of goes up and then it umbrellas out to add like a a plinth up there and then anything that hangs from it can be like 20 kilograms or more. Oh, check this out. TV is in. Looking fabulous. We didn't want it too near to the um, cornice above so I think it's looking pretty great. Yeah, I can't put much on top of this beam. If it had been up to me, I would have put everything a tiny touch higher so I could have got candles underneath it but we both didn't want it too high to the cornice. So, you know, this is kind of the uh, the middle ground for us both. But we've got a Sonos play bar because we just wanted good sound. And also this then acts as, we can play our music on it as well through our phones. So it kind of acts as like a music system at the same time. It's big though. It's really wide, but it, it looks great. Um, and we also went for a subwoofer just for that extra bass. Don't worry, all of this is gonna get I need to put something here. A lot of you guys have been like, maybe you should put a bookcase up. And I agree, but I'm just not sure if a bookcase, because then that'll be like, Ch -ch -ch, and you've got the, the horizontal line here of this to then have more. I don't know if it's gonna make it look a bit funny, but I think, I think we will in the end end up putting some beautiful shelves just here into that wall um, for sure. I'm gonna buy a bigger plant because all of you are like, buy a bigger plant that's nice and tall and goes at that wall, so I completely agree. I'm going to do that as well. We've got a tray coming that's gonna go on here very soon. That should be arriving today, actually. If it does, I'll show you. And these, I need to take the little wrappers off these, but I got, I got these um, from H&M. 
They're so cute and as soon as some more of my dried plants arrive, I'm going to put a little um, little stem in one of them. But it just works perfectly with the colours in the three and that's why I went for these two. <laughs> this is so teeny tiny but it's really cute. So again, I'm going to put a little flower and a taller flower in those. Oh yeah, and this, I really love this. This candle holder. Um, again, I got this from H&M and I bought these candles for like two quid off Amazon in gold, so it all matches. So I'm going to buy another one of these candle holders to put on that windowsill so that they're all matching. But I really love it. It's gorgeous. It's like 20 quid because it's, it's like proper brass. It's not just some flimsy plastic thing. But I think it looks really quite cool. Really cool, so I'm really happy with that. Yeah, but how much better is it looking now? It's looking like a full, like, complete room. Um, thank you to everyone who left me such lovely comments and said they really like the room so far. I know a lot of you guys have lots of opinions when it comes to interiors, which I love. It's just worth remembering as well that people have different tastes when it comes to interiors. And, you know, I'm only just getting started with this thing, so I'm gonna learn as I go along as well. You know, I, I mean, I, and I love it as well, so it's just, it's just opinions. So, some of you loved it, some of you were like, you need to change this, you need to get rid of those sofas. <gasps> okay, I just got them. But um, yeah, so it's worth remembering that people have different tastes. <laughs> For today, I'm gonna probably sit in this lounge on this sofa and do some work. I've got some blog posts that I want to write for the blog. I've got loads of new blog posts, by the way, on inthefro.com. If you wanna have a peek, there's loads of like new wedding content blog posts. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed this little update. Um, and the bits from Paris Fashion Week, it was a busy, hectic one, but it's nice to be back into work. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.